The purpose of this section is to introduce us to torque and power curves. Before we can discuss torque and power curves, we are going to review horsepower. Remember horsepower, or HP, is equal to the angular speed in revolutions per minute multiplied by the torque in foot-pounds divided by the constant 5,252, which we need to include in order for the units to work out. We also need to discuss what a torque curve is. The amount of torque produced in relation to engine speed is called the engine's torque curve. Ideally, the engine should always be run when it is providing a maximum amount of torque. This allows the engine to provide the required amount of power while using a minimum amount of fuel. However, in reality, engines don't always run when they are providing maximum torque. Before we can begin discussing how we can create a torque or power curve, we need to talk a little bit about performance testing. When an engine is being tested for performance, it is secured to a test stand. A device called the dynamometer is attached to the output shaft of the engine. This dynamometer applies a restraining torque to the engine. There are a couple different types of dynamometers that are used for testing. The first one is an engine dynamometer. In this type of dyno, the dyno is coupled directly to an engine. The other type of dynamometer is a chassis dyno. This is a dyno that can measure the torque and power delivered by the powertrain of the vehicle directly from the drive wheel. In a chassis dyno, you don't even have to remove the engine from the vehicle frame. Dynos are used to provide simulated road loading of either the engine using an engine dynamometer or full powertrain using a chassis dynamometer. They are used for engine calibration, management controllers, and detailed investigations into combustion behavior. These dynamometers must be capable of dissipating the energy it absorbs so a simple friction brake would quickly overheat and fail. With the exception of an AC or alternating current dyno, which we will talk about later, all of the energy generated is dissipated as heat. Now we are going to take a look at how dynamometers measure load. They use load cells to provide an electrical output signal. A load cell is simply a transducer that converts force into measurable electrical output. This load cell is attached at a known radius and it measures the amount of force required to hold the dynamometer from spinning. Since force is measured, we have the force being applied at a known radius, we can calculate torque. Remember, torque is equal to the force multiplied by the length. There is also a toothed gear on the back of the shaft that measures the dynamometer shaft speed. Since we calculated torque and we know speed, we can also calculate power by taking the speed multiplied by the torque divided by 5,252 in the English system. This will give us the horsepower produced or used. In the next video, we will take a closer look at some different types of engine dynamometers.